Today we're going to talk about how to create a synchronized custom audience for your Facebook using Manage by Stats. So this is a new feature that Manage by Stats just came out with in March of 2018 and it is very, very cool. So let's back up a step. In order to do any marketing on Facebook, you have to have a business account. So go to business.facebook.com and you can create a business account. In order to create a business account, you also have to have what's called a Facebook business page. There are tons of YouTube videos out there on how to do that, so go check those out. I also have other videos on our website, badassbusinessbuilders.org, about creating audiences. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to quickly give you this overview. You have a Facebook business page. That's the first thing you do from business.facebook.com and then you're going to go to your asset library. If you have more than one business page, make sure that you've selected the correct account. Go to your asset library, and you're gonna to need to access this later. So we need that tab open. This tab, I only have this tab open just to show you that we have a Facebook business page. Um, next, we're going to jump into Manage by Stats. In order to create the synchronization, the first, after you log in, of course, again, make sure you're in the right account if you have multiple seller accounts connected to your Manage by Stats. Go to Customers, and then you're going to click on Synchronization. So what synchronization means is you're actually giving Manage by Stats API access to your Facebook account, your Facebook business account, just like you give Manage by Stats API access to your seller account to take information such as sales, and number of units in stock, and profit margin, and all that good stuff that you use for your Amazon seller account, you're also giving Manage by Stats access to your Facebook account. And what this will do, it'll automatically update, I think it's on a daily basis, it will update that custom audience here in your asset library. These audiences will be updated on a daily basis. Um, and which is really, really cool. So you don't have to create new audiences all the time. That's very, very, very cool for when you are running you know, uh, new product launches or special offers or any kind of Facebook promotions that you might be doing for your Amazon business. Having an up-to-date synchronized audience of real Amazon customers is very powerful. So when you get to this page, the synchronization account, the first time you come here, this will all be blank. I've already created one, so that's why there's stuff here. But for you, this box up here would just be blank. And to start, you're going to hit this plus button. And you can name this account. And then you're going to link account. That'll take you to this page, which gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect to your Facebook profile. So once you've read that and you agree, click connect Facebook profile. You have to be logged in to a Facebook account that has access to your business uh, business manager page. Okay, so now it's going to ask which account do I want to connect it up with. So once you click link account, it will ask you which account you want to link it to. Uh, unfortunately, I as I'm filming this video, I'm realizing that I've already linked my account to my Facebook profile, so I can't really show you what happens because it's already already linked. If you go to synchronization and you click on help, you click on help. There is a help button there. And there is a Manage by Stats training video that shows you how to do it. It walks you through step by step. So I'm going to show you Manage by Stats video on, for that particular part of the process. Click the plus button here, then give the profile account a name, like the brand or company name. The type will be Facebook. We will have additional options here soon. Then click here to link the account. You'll then see some instructions. Read those over and follow the steps. If not already logged into Facebook, you'll need to do so. Our system will direct you to Facebook to log in, and once done, we'll return you to Manage by Stats with a success message. Then click here to connect the Facebook profile you want. Then click Done. You'll then see the profile listed. Click the plus button and create a name for the audience. Okay, so that takes us to this step. So we're gonna create a name for our audience. All right, now you can choose your account if you have multiple accounts, and you can just pop that over here. 
If you are paying for Managed by Stats email append service, you'll have an option to choose Amazon and Real. What that means is they're going to take all the customers from Amazon and they're also going to take real addresses that you've um, found through their email append. But normally you wouldn't see that if you're, unless you're paying for that. You then have a couple of options, one audience for all the selected SKUs, one audience for each brand. You can create a separate audience for each of the ASINs if you want to target them separately. So you've got, you have different options here. I haven't really played around with these yet. So right now I'm just creating one audience for all selected SKUs. So this part down here, MBS, they're giving the audience name right here. I don't totally understand why they have different places to create an audience name. But again, I'm new at this. So what I usually put is buyer because that's what they said to do in the video. And that's it. And then I'm just going to click add. All right, everything's set to go, and we have a saved audience. So now, it might take a little bit of time. Once it's synced up properly, you'll see it looks kind of like this. This is not one that I created earlier. It'll say custom audience created by managed by stats for MBS customers. And from there, you can just use this custom audience in any of your future Facebook ads. When you are in your ad set and you edit your ad set, you can choose your new synced audience right here and you will run ads to that audience. The last thing that you need to know is that when you upload a custom audience into Facebook, uh, if you're taking a list of actual customers, it will say size not available and that is normal. I asked around and I talked to several large Amazon sellers and I found out that the reason this is Facebook had some kind of an issue with uh, privacy and so what they did is they as far as I know, it's temporary. I don't know how long that's going to last, but as of now, it's April 2018. They're not giving you access to this information. Whereas when you create a lookalike audience, those are people who have opted in to Facebook already, and they're allow they allow you to get audience insights on, on these lookalike audiences or audiences that you create from inside of Facebook. But when you're importing customers from outside of Facebook into Facebook, they don't give you access to the information. It is a bit frustrating. It will say not available, but you can rest assured that those audiences are in fact uploaded. There, unfortunately, there's no way to really verify it, but that's just Facebook's policy. There's nothing wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. So that's it, guys. That's as easy as it is. This should automatically update and you'll have real-time audience in Facebook.